Hi, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now. One of the most common questions we get is how do you password protect some files on your drive? For instance, maybe you want to have a folder that's password protected. Now, you got to ask yourself why you're doing this. Probably to keep prying eyes from looking at some of your files. In that case, the real good way to do it is to actually have a separate user account for these files and maybe other things like applications you want other people to be using. But if you don't feel like setting up an entire password protected account on your computer, you really just want to protect a few files. The way to do this in Leopard is to create a disk image, but create a password protected disk image. Let me tell you about disk images and how to create password protected ones to protect some of your files. To create a new disk image, what you need to do is open up Disk Utility. You can find it in your Applications Utilities folder. So Disk Utility is a very handy application that allows you to do lots of things with your hard drives and also your CD and DVD drives. But you can also create these virtual drives which are actually files in your computer that act just like regular hard drives or CDs. So in order to create one you go to File and you create uh, you select New and Blank Disk Image. This brings up a menu here and you can name it and you can also give it a type. Now you've got a lot of choices in volume size. For instance you can choose 100 megabytes, 500 megabytes, whatever it is. You can choose a custom size as well. Let's just do 100 megabytes. After you've created one you can always adjust the size using Disk Utility as well. But if you want to avoid taking up 100 megabytes on your real hard drive for this file that will be a disk image, one thing you can do is set it to a sparse disk image. So it will look like it's a 100 megabyte drive but in fact it will just use the amount of space it needs so it will grow with more files you put into it. Next thing you want to do is you want to set encryption. Now normally it's set to none which is a standard disk image. But if you set it to 128 bit you will get the option to password protect it. Now that we have set up these things we will go ahead and create this drive and it will prompt us for a password. So we are going to just type in a very weak password here. And you can have it remember the password in the keychain. Now, if you don't want people to be able to log on to this drive easily, you want to uncheck that. Now it's going to create this drive. And you'll see it appear on the left. You also see that if you go to your documents folder, which is where we chose to save this, we've got this test.sparse image file there. We'll also see we have this disk image. Remember that was the name that we left it there just as a separate hard drive. It will also appear on your desktop as disk image. We look in it we see there's no files there. But now we can go ahead and uh, go ahead and drop some files onto it. So let's go and find something to drop. We'll launch text edit and create a very simple file that we want to protect. We'll go ahead and save that and we'll save it in the disk image there. So test file. We'll quit out of that. Now we see it saved there in disk image. Now if we eject disk image, it's gone. It's not on our desktop anymore. We can still see it here in disk utility, but it's shown as just the actual image itself and it's not mounted. Now if we go back into the documents folder, we'll see the file there for the sparse image. We click on that to open it up and what will happen at this point is we have to enter now the password. And once we've entered the correct password it will then open and mount this disk image and there's our file. So this is a great way to protect files. Another, another great thing about disk images is they show up in your hard drive as just a single file. So you can take this file and stick it somewhere where nobody will notice it. And you can have all sorts of things on it. You can put any type of file in there. It's just a regular drive image. So you can put applications in there. You can put documents of any kind that you want in there. So it's a great way to securely save some things and then also to back them up because when you back up this disk image file with Time Machine or another backup utility, uh, you'll end up with a perfect copy of it somewhere, but it's also perfectly protected there as well. Until next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.